A group of protesters took to the streets in downtown New Haven earlier this evening for another anti-Trump demonstration. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. They held a march to show their support for people who they say have been oppressed and marginalized. News 8's Renee Shmi live on the green in New Haven tonight where that rally was held to tell us who the people are there who came out tonight. Renee. And Darren, this was a peaceful demonstration that started here on the New Haven Green. And those who were a part of it say they wanted to speak out against hate. William Alvarado helped organize the anti-Trump march in downtown New Haven. He didn't vote in the election. That's because he's only in high school. He and his classmates at Achievement First Amistad High School are too young to vote, but not to make their voices heard. It was really important for us to voice our, our opinions because sometimes adults don't actually look at us for like our opinion. This just shows that we can not actually step up and speak for ourselves. The students held flags to represent diversity. They say they too had a lot at stake in last week's election. Meanwhile, Ivy Stocklow is an immigrant and a transgendered person from New Haven. Stocklow also wants to speak out and will continue to do that beyond tonight's rally. January 20th, as people know, is the inauguration. Uh, there are a lot of people coming to protest Trump during the inauguration. Stocklow is involved with the group The Answer Coalition. Stocklow and the group have been pushing for change well before Trump won the election. We do a lot of political education work. We do public classes on issues like war, issues like racism. Leaders are nothing without followers. The speakers and the people holding signs say they want social justice taking a stand against issues like racism and speaking up for human rights. Anger is not going to solve anything. Franco Gorman was one of them, and he's with the group People of Faith Connecticut. He started working for equality before Trump's election. He came from West Hartford to be a part of the rally. It is to express a, a challenge to the agenda that uh, Donald Trump is trying to impose on this country. New Haven police escorted the marchers through downtown and across the green, at times stopping traffic to keep everybody safe. Live in New Haven, Renee Schmiel, News 8.